Hello, this is Alec Kerr of the Comedy Daily Sun, and I guess we're going to call this like a Lost in Movies Extra. I'm here with... Trina for Lovely. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, our favorite movies from our childhood. Um, I think we have a couple that are the same, so I think we'll start with Ghostbusters. Yay! And I've got my original Stay Puff from when I was a little boy. Fantastic. It's been chewed on and written <laughs> on, and it's awesome. It's so, yeah. art. So yeah, Ghostbusters. I mean, that isn't even a kid's movie, but there were so many movies from the 80s that you just watched as, as a kid, like oh, yeah. Indiana Jones and oh, yeah. Back to the Future and Ghostbusters, which weren't made Princess targeted Bride. for kids. Princess Bride. They weren't made targeted for kids, but they were just so great and totally appropriate for kids. And the perfect addition to anyone's childhood. I love The NeverEnding Story and all those fantasy all those fantasy ones. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. I was going to say. Actually, Crystal. I have a Labyrinth poster over there. Dark yeah. Crystal. Yeah, and they don't make fantasy movies like that anymore. They're no. always, they're just... They they're don't just, have soul. Yeah, they're lacking soul. Like, I still cry every time I watch Never Ending Story with the uh, the swamp of uh, of sorrow and, uh, and our tax just sinking in. I don't want to, if I talk about it too much, I'll get upset. Legend makes me teary-eyed. I just does Last Unicorn. I actually yeah. can't even think of that scene in Last Unicorn oh, without yeah. crying. Oh, yeah. But yeah, those uh, those are the movies I loved as a kid. You know? I did the Ninja Turtles thing. Still watch the Ninja Turtles movies. Uh, you know, and I will defend the first one to, with my last dying breath. The rest of them, not so much. I do like the second one. It's, it's with, a good with, pleasure. With uh, Ninja Ninja Rap. But, <laughs> but yeah, but I actually do think the first Ninja Turtles movie is actually pretty well made. I couldn't agree more, actually. Yeah. I think the costumes in it are just... Oh, I know. It's amazing, like, what they did. The cinematography almost reminds me of, like, the original Batman and, like, yeah. the dark, gritty, gloominess. Yeah. And that's another thing that you never see in kids' movies anymore, just right. grit. Right. I mean, there are some examples, and it's when they have, like, an indie filmmaker come in. Exactly. And, like, like Where the Wild Things Are yeah. was fantastic. And that... What happens, I think, too much today is that they pander to kids in a exactly. big, big way, um, yeah. which is why this kind of ties into what, what 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 we discussed on our episode, Rango. Uh, we won't get into it here, but it's not a movie that panders to kids at all, exactly. which is nice. It's definitely refreshing to have something that you can actually contemplate, think right. about, and it's not only good for children, but as an adult, it's even got some right. morals that are good for refreshing. Right, which is why I, I love Pixar movies. Like, obviously, yeah. the first Pixar movie came out in 95, so I was already oh, I was already 12 at that point, so I was not really, I guess I still was a kid, but I still watched, yeah. I still watch, you know, Pixar movies, and they're great because they're, they are not just great kids' movies, they're just great movies, period. <clears throat> exactly. What other movies did you watch as a kid? Uh, Tron. Oh, Had Tron. to be on my list. Tron is fantastic. Oh, it's such a silly thing to admit to now. And I actually didn't even bother watching the new Tron film. I did I, enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I will watch it eventually. I just didn't want to see it in 3D IMAX. I'm kind of terrified of having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> so I have yet I to I did see it been... both ways. And uh, I'm not a huge proponent of 3D. I think it is just a gimmick. I but, agree. But Tron Legacy was actually kind of worthy because it is... Well, it is a future, exactly. I mean, I can understand how with that it makes you feel like you're in the game. Right. But, yep, the original, though, you just can't beat it. Everybody always rags on it, but like you with the Ninja Turtles, I'll always defend it. It's, oh, yeah. It holds such a special place in my heart. And it really was way, way ahead of its time. Not even, not even talking about the visuals, which were just vastly, like, blow, oh. blew everything away at the time. Um, but just the fact that they were talking about you know, going into the digital world, and essentially, they were talking about avatars. They didn't call it that, but, exactly. I mean, Before it you know, was even conceived right. as an I mean, idea. I mean, the users though. had their programs, which were clones of them, so they were, they really were talking about avatars exactly. and your, your program version of yourself, and so it was just, the fact that they were that perceptive about things... And they, exactly. were kind of, they were talking about the internet, basically, before there was the exactly. internet. I mean, the master uh, program was going to hack into the and government. Before there were hackers. Like, right. Yeah. It was, it was definitely ahead of its time. Yeah. And that's why, I mean, I'm glad it came out when it did, but people didn't understand it. I right. Think it went way over I, people's heads. It really did. And uh, another really good one, Hook. Yeah. That's, I've got issues with Hook. I think Hook could have been a really great movie. Uh, if there were three things they got rid of. Oh. Um, one, the bizarro Julia Roberts gets big and kisses Peter thing. <laughs> K 
killing Rufio. <laughs> And what the heck happened with the croc eating hook? <laughs> those three things, like, make it, it's just like, none of those things make any sense and just detract from the movie. Yeah, I, okay, okay, I'll give you that. Those are definitely my three biggest pet peeves with that film. But that aside, I mean, the Lost Boys food. Oh, yeah. That one scene. That whole sequence. Like, that whole part. I mean, now that I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like gelato or something. Right. But as a kid, you're like, it's so colorful and right. fluffy. I want to eat it. And I just love the, it's time to say Grace. Grace! <laughs> Grace. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. I do like it. Uh, anything Monty python -y. I mm. mean, obviously not for kids necessarily. No. But I frequently watched all the Flying Circus as a kid. I loved all the movies, even Life of Brian. My parents would occasionally let me watch. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that was the first penis you saw. Of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I think I actually watched it Easter Sunday the first time nice. I watched it, too. Nice. My parents were like, do you want to watch a Christian movie? It's like, okay. Sort of, yeah. This isn't like we are taught in church, Mom and Dad. What is it? It's like, don't take this seriously. This is a movie. <laughs> Back to the Future. Back to the Future. I actually would watch those movies over and over again, and... When I was really little, I would I would run around my backyard and pretend that I was going 88 miles per hour in time <laughs> travel. And I'd be like, I'm back in time. I'm like, Doc, what's going on, Doc? I used to think as a child that my dad looked like Doc. Nice. <laughs> and I always just thought that was so great. And I thought it was a secret of his, but alas, he doesn't have a DeLorean. He <laughs> well, doesn't, have, doesn't have the flux capacitor. No, it makes me so sad. <laughs> That's probably good for now. Um, so... So yeah, watch uh, watch Lost in Movies. It uh, should be on Thursday at 8.30. And if you're in the Mount Washington Valley on Channel 3, Valley Vision. And if not, it'll also appear on YouTube for the greater world to see. So check it out.